friends! Welcome back to Rustic and Lace DIY. Today I am participating with my original collaboration group. I'll let you know more about that in a few minutes, but a hint, it's Apple theme. So, first of all, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Brenda. I'm so glad you stopped by today, and this is my little Oliver. And if you're returning, welcome back. We appreciate you more than you know. So with all that being said, let's get to crafting. Okay, here's DIY number one. So I'm going to use some of this red fabric that I got at Dollar Tree. Two of these apple signs from Dollar Tree from last year. And then I'm gonna use this page that came from this um, calendar from 2021. And then I'm going to use my crimson chalk paint by Waverly and yeah i guess that's it so i'm gonna start off by taking the leaves off of my signs and then i'm gonna tear the paper as much of the sides of it off as i could um, i don't like it when you see the paper hanging over the edge so i'm just trying to take it all off the edges and then i'm going to use the back so on one of the apples i'm going to paint it with my crimson color and then while that was drying i took my other one and i am using my fabric mod podge which is very thick um, and can be a little difficult to smooth out but I'm just going to put it on top of my apple and then add my fabric and I just did it in sections so once I had the top part uh, adhered then I lift it up and add more until I got to the bottom then once I was done with that I just took some more of that Mod Podge and I just went over the top of my fabric and then I set it aside to dry. Actually before I set it aside to dry I trimmed off the excess fabric and then I set it aside um, to dry. After that I am going to cut out my picture from the calendar as well as my words. Now my first thought was I was just going to keep this all one piece but I just it wasn't fitting right and so I decided to go ahead and cut them in sections. And then before I added them onto my apple I decided I better paint those stems. So I painted the stems on both of them with my apple barrel burnt umber color. Then I took some Mod Podge here. This is the regular Mod Podge and it's just matte and I'm just putting it all over my apple. Um, just covered the whole thing. I set it aside to dry and once it was dry I laid out the words and the apples like I wanted them and then I took my mini heat press here and some parchment paper and I put the parchment paper over the pictures and the word and then I'm using my heat press to just heat up that glue to reinstate it. And this is a really nice way of doing this with Mod Podge because you get a lot less wrinkles this way. So then after I took off my um, paper there, my parchment paper, I'm just putting a light layer of the Mod Podge on top. I let it dry and then I just did a small a co um, covering with my heat press again. Then I took the rest of these words that came off of that calendar and I cut them out and I am adding them to the left side of this apple with the fabric. And I was gonna make those a hanging sign, but as I was doing this, I came up with this idea instead and decided to do this. So I took those crates and painted them with that crimson red. Now I'm taking this braided twine that I have in my Amazon store and I'm just gonna hot glue it all the way around both of the apples. I just, I don't know why, it gives it a country look, I think, and it just, I don't know, gives it a finished look, and I just really like it. And I know I use this often to go around these pieces. I, I don't know why. I just like it. <laughs> but if you don't like it, that's okay. You don't have to do that. So then I decided I wanted to do some distressing. Now, if you don't like distressing, if you don't like the dirty look, that's okay. You don't have to do that. This is just what I like. I like a little more of the rustic, so I um, went ahead and I wanted to dull down some of the shine of that those words anyways. Then I used my wood glue and hot glue and I am putting it all around the section where I'm gonna add my other apple to. And I had traced it out with a pencil so I knew where to put the glue. And then after that, I'm taking my wood glue and my hot glue and I'm gonna connect those two crates together like you see me doing right here. And then because that 
top, um, the apple one is on top of the other, it wouldn't lay straight on those crates. So I took a piece of um, paint stir stick and I am just going to glue it to the back of the one uh, crate where the apple that is behind the other apple will lay. And then I used my hot glue to connect them. Now I had these small bales of hay from uh, Dollar Tree from last year and I just stuck one inside of each crate. And then I'm taking this gingham ribbon I got from Dollar Tree and I am just going around the front, adding a little bit of hot glue in the middle and on the ends. Sorry, this isn't really in frame. I guess it kind of is. And then just trim that off. And then I took some more of that braided twine and I am just going over the top and around the bottom of that ribbon, just kind of like framing it in. And I'm just gonna add a little hot glue uh, just in the middle and on the edges and in the back. Then I made a finger bow. Now you guys, I will leave a link to the video that I watched to make this finger bow. bow. I was gonna show you guys, but I'm still, I don't do this enough and I need to practice more and I was afraid you'd get more confused. So <laughs> I'll leave a link for you to watch if you wanna see how to do a finger bow. Then I'm just gonna add these apples. I hot glued them to the hay and then I made some twine or some bows out of that twine and added them to the top. Here I'm just adding that leaf. Sorry, that's not really in frame, but I'm just adding the leaf. I'm using hot glue. And because that's metal, I know that's not gonna stick real well. So I'm just gonna add some painter's tape over it. And then I covered the back with shipping paper. And there it is. I think it is so, so cute. You'll have to let me know what you think about this as well in the comment box below. Okay, so today's collaboration is Apple of My Pies. It's with my original um, collaboration group and it's hosted every month by my friend Krista with Krista's Crafty Life and this month's co-host is Janice with Craftastics DIYs. Make sure you check out their channels and the playlist and give them some love, give them the thumbs up, subscribe, all that fun stuff. I have links to all to both of them in my description box below. So here's DIY number two. And by the way, it is Apple theme. I think I said that already, yeah, whatever. Okay, <laughs> I'm using those uh, Apple ornaments from Dollar Tree, I got them last year. Some more of this fabric, one of these little pie pans from Dollar Tree that I got earlier this year. And then um, a decal that I created with my Cricut. And then this 10, 10 inch wood round I got from Hobby Lobby. You guys, th that's the place to get wood rounds, especially when they're on sale. Much better deal than uh, Dollar Tree, if you can find them. Um, and they have wood on sale like every couple of weeks. So, okay, so I'm starting off by using my white paint in, um, by Waverly. And I'm just painting around the edge of that pie pan, like you see there. And then after it was all done and dried, I'm taking my crimson red and I'm going to paint the big wood round sign and that little apple. So here I'm just taking the pie plate and I am going to trim it around that uh, material and then I cut it out and here I'm using my fabric Mod Podge again and putting it all around the inside of that pie plate or pan and then I'm gonna lay the fabric down onto the glue or Mod Podge, which is glue. <laughs> and then after I have that all on and it's adhering nicely, I did not even do a top layer because I figured no one's, oh, maybe I did to it. Sorry, I can't remember what I did and this was just a couple of days ago. <laughs> I did put a top layer of Mod Podge and let it dry. Then once this wood round was dry, I took my decal and I'm just going to place it along the top and I was able to make it on a curve. Um, <clears throat> I will try and show you guys how to do some of this. Some of this stuff with the Cricut, I am still kind of learning myself, um, but I'll do another one and show you guys. I'll, I'll record how to actually do it on the curve if you wanna see it. So then I'm taking the word apple and I am putting it on my apple here. And then I'm going to use some East, no, this was uh, the fix all glue from Dollar Tree. And then I'm gonna use some hot glue and I'm gonna attach my pie pan right in the middle of this sign. And 
And then after I have that all added, I'm gonna take my apple and I'm gonna hot glue it to the um, middle of that pie, pie, pie pan. Oh my goodness, I can't talk. And then I made a little bow with um, some jute twine and I'm just gonna put it right where that hole was. And then I took some more of this braided uh, twine and I'm just hot gluing it all around the edge um, so you don't really see where the fabric and the pie pan meet. And it just adds a little more country detail to it, I think. After that, I felt like the sides needed something else. So I took these red gingham um, half beads that I got from Amazon. I do believe they are in my Amazon store and I just hot glued them around. And then I'm just taking some more twine and I'm making knots on the ends and I'm gonna hot glue them to the back and for a hanger and then um, I did not cover the back of this. I may go back and cover it or I may just go back and paint it. I don't know, I haven't decided yet. It probably depends on if I'm gonna try and sell this. I'm still trying to figure out how I wanna try and sell my stuff, but I've gotta do it because I'm running out of space, guys. <laughs> so you have to let me know what you think about this one as well. Okay, if you would like to follow me on social media, you can find the links to my social media accounts in my link tree in the description box below, as well as links to other accounts I'm affiliated with. Now is a time for celebration of your recreations. And Brittany, you did a lovely job on all of your DIYs. I just love your little grouping there, it's so cute. And beautiful Tina, she recreated my um, hexagon pumpkins and you did an amazing job, I love them. If you have a creation or recreation you would like me to showcase, you can send it to me through my email or on Instagram or Facebook Messenger, whichever is easiest for you, and I would be happy to showcase them for you. Okay, here's DIY number three. Oh, you guys, I love this one. So <laughs> I am going to use uh, some more decals I created with my Cricut. I just got this wood apple from Woodpecker's Craft. I do have a link to them. I am affiliate with them now. So if you would like to order um, anything from them, hit that link. Um, some of those blocks from Dollar Tree, my um, yellow and green paint there. I will have the colors in the description box. My Waverly chalk paints in the color Fern, Truffle, and Crimson. And I'm going to paint those blocks, one with each one of those colors, and then the apple with the crimson red. And then here I am just gonna paint the stem with my truffle and then the leaf with the fern color. And I love how these turn out, you guys. I just think this is adorable. So after I get done painting those, I'm gonna add my decals on all those, on the apple as well as the blocks. If you're new here, I want to say welcome. Thank you so much for joining today. If you like what you see and you like home decor on a budget, holiday decor, thrift flips, gift ideas, then I would invite you to head that hit that red subscribe button and become part of our YouTube family. And then let me know in the comment box that you're new here. I'd love to get to know you. Um, also, if you would hit that notification bell and hit all that way you're notified whenever I upload a video, which my normal upload times are Monday at five o'clock central time, but I do participate real often during the week um, on challenges and playlists. So that way, if you hit the notification bell, it will notify you when one of those videos are coming up. And then you guys remember, you know what I'm gonna say, if you like today's video, make sure you hit that thumbs up and comment because that helps my channel grow, lets YouTube know you like my content and it will push it out there for others to see so they can get some inspiration as well as you do. Okay. So after that, now the yellow one is kind of hard to read on camera, but one says apple um, cider, one says apple, caramel apples, and the other one says apple cider donuts. Because when I think of fall these and apples, these are the things that I think of. I think up in the Northwest, there's a lot of apple cider donuts, caramel apples, apple cider. Um, and so these are the things that just kind of made me think of apples and 
So that's why I decided to go with those. So here I'm just using wood glue and um, hot glue and I'm connecting those blocks together. Now, as you can see, I did do some distressing. You don't have to do distressing if you don't want, but I did do some. And I don't know if you noticed, I might've cut this out, but when I went to go put the decals on the yellow apple, um, I wasn't gonna paint the bottoms of these and I put the decals on the wrong side so the unpainted bottom was on the top so I had to paint it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Anyway, so here I'm just adding the apple to the top and then I took some um, uh, skewers and I just cut some small stems out of them and painted them with my burnt umber. I didn't paint the end so I'm using a brown marker there to paint it and then I'm just hot gluing them to the top and then I'm just going to take some little leaves that I have from an old um, garland and I just cut some off and I'm going to add two little leaves on each one of those blocks on the side. And that's all there is for this and I really love how this came out. I just think it is adorable. You'll have to let me know what you think about it as well. In case you didn't realize, I did a green apple, yellow apple, and red apple. <laughs> okay, here's DIY number four. So for this DIY, I'm going to use this apple chalkboard that I just found at Dollar Tree a couple of days ago. And then I'm going to use some transfers from my autumn tier tray transfers from Chalk Couture. And then my uh, chalk paste in the colors uh, Candy Apple, Bright White, and storm i do not use the pesto i decided that was too much work <laughs> so i'm going to start off by fuzzing the transfers if you don't if you're not familiar with chalk couture these are adhesive transfers and they have a silk screen and you want to fuzz them before you use them so that they don't stick so tightly that it pulls up your paint or stretches your transfers so after i have them both fuzzed i'm just going to add them together here and then I'm going to go over the words with my white paste and then I'm going to do the cart with the apples red and then the the mechanics of the cart, I guess you'd call them the wheels and stuff with that storm color. If you have never tried uh, Chalk Couture and if you're interested in it, I am a designer so I do have a link to my page for Chalk Couture in my link trees. You can go and check out um, what's available. Uh, I love the Club Couture. I think it's great. It's $21.99 a month. You get an exclusive 8x11 transfer plus three single paste and a squeegee. Um, and you get that every month. Um, you do have to sign up for at least three months. Uh, but it is a great way to get started, at least trying it out. Um, I, I think so. I mean, $21 a month isn't that bad. Um, to get, you know, something that most people can't get unless they are part of Club Couture. Um, but anyways, if you have questions or if you just want to, you know, look through the, the page to see what it, it's all about, um, hit that link. And then if you have any questions, you can always reach out to me, email me. I'd be happy to answer any of your questions for it. So here is the reveal of, oh, wait, what I did there, uh, I put my paste on and then I pull it up and lightly put it down because you don't want it to dry on the silk screen because if you do, then when you pull it up, it will actually pull up the paste and then you'll have a very blotchy uh, <laughs> image. Ask me how I know. <laughs> so uh, I always like to do this uh, method where you paste it and pull it up and then continue on. Um, that way it's gonna come out very nice. So once I was done, I am wiping my little uh, tool there. I'm going to pull it up and reveal and look how pretty it is. So after I cleaned off my transfers, because that's something you want to do right away, I am taking some more of my fern and I decided to go ahead and color the leaf part of this apple. And then I'm going to paint um, the stem part with the truffle as well. I'm kind of liking it with just the green leaf but oh well it still looks good uh, so after I have that painted um, oh, I'm, I'm doing this slowly I guess uh, I did paint the back side of it too or no not the back I painted this the edges so that if you're looking from the top or the side it 
looked finished. I took some of these half beads again from Amazon and I just hot glued them all around. I just felt like that apple needed something a little bit more. And after I have that all done, I'm trying to remember what I did because I did this a couple of days ago and I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> so it happens when you get to be 54 years old. You, things don't aren't as sharp as they used to be. <laughs> Anyways, I take some of this fabric. I just cut out a strip and I cut uh, made a knot and just made a simple little knot on it. I thought it just kind of gives it a nice little country look, um, and I just really love it. And it ties in with all my red buffalo check that I did for this video. And it makes me think about this too. So you'll have to let me know what you think about this as well. And again, if you have any questions about Chop Couture, go ahead and email me. I'd be happy to answer any questions or check out my page. So here comes up the final reveal of all four products, projects, whatever. <laughs> you'll have to let me know what you thought about these and what was your favorite one today. So make sure that if you have not hit that subscribe button yet, make sure you do that before you leave. And then make sure you check out Krista and Janice's channels as well as the rest of the ladies that are in the playlist and I will be back again on Monday with another video oh my word you guys my craft room is a disaster from this week but anyways with all that being said have a blessed weekend and I will see you on the next one bye bye